so on the shell right click here convert to editable poly now we need to do some modifications with the edge so we select this edge and because we have a, a new shape the loop has changed make sure you didn't select anything you don't need now let's do an extrude for this guy and it will be by negative value let's make it minus 0.1 and here's the value 3 is too much let's make it 0.1 as well maybe raise it 0.3 and press ok now I need to select this loop I know it takes time but this final adjustment will save everything for you later And same for that outer loop, press control, deselect it. And apparently that selects the whole loop. Okay, fine. Let's chamfer these two loops. And the value will be not much. It will be 0 0.3. And for the other value I leave it to 1 and press OK now we need to make some places here or some uh, vertices thinner so I can have thin edge here same for this area so I change back to 4 views to see everything I need to work on left view and perspective view so you're free to drag this up like I'm doing right now. Let's change to vertex mode. And what I need to modify here, I need to get rid of half of this and then create another symmetry first. So I change my view. Or I can just work on front view and change polygon. And select all this group and delete it. So I can be working only on this now let's change to vertex mode i need to make these vertex a bit lower so here in top view i select these two groups maybe the three groups uh, let's take those as well with them and then i use the scale to scale them on the z-axis then I will deselect by Alt this group and do another scale on the Z axis. Okay, I'll do the same for the back. So I need to select this group of points. And on the X axis I will scale them. Then I deselect this group do the same here as I did but now I figured that I need to push them back not much of course but we need to adjust uh, this upper part just like this so now the chair looks normal maybe this group here uh, maybe that, that's point only this one oops we have this point here we accidentally pushed it and we can adjust it here in the 
front view get back to your place and here this guy And I need to make this higher than the other ones. So I select this group and sorry, let's fall. Let's zoom in, select this group along with this group. And I don't need this here. Then let's push them up. Alt to deselect this guy, push up again, not much, only slightly, okay, that's it, <coughs> okay, okay, that's fine, maybe the last group of points here, needs to be pushed up so that's um, that's okay so let's take him on the polygon mode control a and again specify one material id clear all and specify one for everyone that will save you too much work with modeling before we finish, uh, I'm not I'm not okay with this part here. I don't like it. I need to push it all together to this side. Maybe the front view will help me. And these two. something like this let's get make sure these points here on the middle or on the uh, th they will be in the middle are even so we use the x axis scaling to make sure that's fine they all look fine now i select the editable boil and again i need to make sure the uh, the axis or pivot lies here in the middle and use another symmetry I may split this uh, lesson into two parts so you won't work too much on it you, you, you won't have too much to listen actually uh, I still need to adjust this point here I need to raise them up let's see end results that's it so this is your chair in its simplest version let's make him turbo smooth and raise the iteration up to four so you can have final look and i like it i like it this way if you would like in the uh, editable poly you can select let's deselect it show and results and go to editable poly polygon mode we can make selection of uh, if you want to make some final adjustment of these two and we can do some uh, insertion and extrusion if you want uh, let's close the soft selection we can make some insertion let's make it something small like 0.1 press ok now let's extrude to the negative side let's make it minus 0.3 and see what we got press ok so 
so now we have final adjustment with this armchair not much and if you don't like it just to make it now we need to create the cushion I will create it in the front view and here I will create a box let's make this box something like this and here in the perspective view I can see how he looks like of course I need the lens let's make the lens to something like 9 width let's make it let's leave it to 29 and height uh, I can make this height something like 35 that's that's too much for 35 let's make it 20 and here in the top view I need to push him backwards and start adjusting by right click convert to editable poly let's go to vertex mode and starting with these points here I start scaling them as I can and this in the middle I scale it up then I take these two raise them up like this take these two not much now in the left view I need to select all these segments but not the ones in the middle I just need these two sides so let's try it here in the top view exactly that's what I needed so I select everything exact uh, except these true lines now I will drag them down on the X on the Y axis and push them maybe raise them okay now this is the cushion what we need to do we need to adjust its position in the front view and then use a turbo smooth raise it up to 2 2 is fine for me and adjust its position uh, actually we need to do the same here in the top view with these points we need to take these groups oops stop these groups of points and scale them so it looks like a cushion and that one in the middle scale it up not much something like this and let's see final results that's what we need but actually we need to make it larger so we can scale it all up but on the y-axis we need to scale it down N not much okay that looks fine What's left is to create the legs and I will make use of spline modeling. I will use a line and I will create... I need first to raise these pieces up to the ground. So uh, I select both of them and raise them upward. 
so I can create the legs here using line I start creating a rough line and then I will modify it later yes close it now convert it to editable spline go to points mode uh, this guy needs to be pushed to this side and this one too all of them needs to be raised these two so as you can touch uh, the lower part of the chair okay now for these points here what I need to do I need to use one of the tools I don't need soft selection I need to use fillet and raise not much let's do it again okay so it looks curvy but not much curvy and this guy here we need to raise him up now we have the base for the chair for the chair uh, leg I need to extrude it using the extrude modifier and the amount of it let's keep it to four four is fine okay so now we need another piece of it here so the extrude as you see the axis is here I need to affect pivot only align it to this piece make sure it's pivot point or center it gives you the same result but pivot point is fine and press ok now I deselect affect pivot only and I will use symmetry to make this locking legs chair here in the top view I need to make sure they have the right position and as you can see it's not uh, in the middle and I need to make another copy of it so shift drag and take it back it's gonna be a copy but here in the left view I will need to select this guy any of them actually and rotate him to this direction and do the same with this guy Oops. rotate him to the opposite direction so we finally uh, I guess extrude value is, is too much for this chair extrude value here needs to be 3 not 4 and same for that one and let's see end results for both of them and here we need to do final adjustment by raising him up so it can touch the back of the chair same for this one just raise him up okay let's get back to perspective view to see our chair and that's it for this tutorial of course you can do your own modification in terms of chair design and let's move to the next tutorial